Okay, on this video, we're gonna be replacing the the hood latch. Um, let me see, um, cord. So, here's the pieces that I'm replacing. The, the, the piece that goes into the car. We're gonna be doing this right now. So. And these are all dealership items, so you would have to go buy them at the dealership. Yep, you're going to be spending around 80 bucks, 90 bucks for these. So this is the part that goes right here. It goes right here. Mine was all broken, no good. No good at all. So, okay, so let's get started. First, we have to run the cord through here. So here's the other cord. So what we're gonna have to do is remove this box, the the air filter box. So we um, we pull it over here. Let me see. It. Oh, we we gonna attach it here. <coughs> Detach this. And um. On the, I guess on the 97s they have this on the on the on the 2000s they have like little plastic clips and you just put uh, clip them off okay that looks good and uh, from here all we have to do is just grab these two little springs and um, push upwards now let's put the uh, oh yeah. this is your your sensor so when your hood closes it goes down we have to unplug this so okay, there we go I did it <coughs> so we'll just remove the molding because we're gonna take all this box off remove the top cover because the top cover is connected to the the plastic on the car and uh, to this plastic so you just remove the top, top, top cover you know come right off and uh, this is where you'll find your um your your, your master brake cylinder or whatever it's called where you want to put brake fluid so while I'm at it I'm gonna check my brake fluid it's good okay so what we're gonna do is pull this wire through. So as you can see, see this wire right here? We'll pull it through here. On this one, all it does, it comes right up, up, and the wire shoots right through, through it. So when we re when we run the wire back this way, all we have to do is put it back and, and put this down, close it. So the so the only way this will come out. Um, it's go it goes inwards so it does not come out this way it comes it goes on um, it goes in the car so see right there and the only the, the easiest way of getting it is grabbing some pliers needle nose I just pulled it out with a needle nose and drop the camera that's okay. So, there we go. Okay, now we're putting in the new one. And um and the way that they come out, it has um it comes out is um has two plastic tips on the side. And as you can see right there, it, it does not pull out directly. You would have to push it in and twist it. So, I'm going to try to do it with um recording this. So, you, you would have to turn it into an angle give it into an angle get it in there let me see okay see. I forgot to bring my tripod today Ok, 
Okay, once you get it in there. Oh shit. Move all this shit out of the way. And twist it, turn it, turn it. It's kind of hard recording at the same time, so just bear with me. At the same time, I don't want to break it. It's a fifty-dollar piece right here. So make sure you get it on the angle where this is right here because this has to be over here in this direction facing upwards. Then you then you twist it. Oh there we go. Oh. It's in my the two box. Everything's on top of the two box where my uh on three fourths tools are at. Then we did it, and then we align it to that hole where we have to screw this shit on. So right now, what I'm gonna do is screw screw this on there, on here, and then um, put everything put everything back. And make sure there's wires running upwards, and just make sure you put the, the the plastic thing covering that hole, so you don't get no sound and water in here. So, so now we I ran the wire through here. Right here. So, what I'm gonna do is pull, pull this pull pull this through, pull this inwards. So make sure you you get to see this the edge. So that means you you have it sealed up. So you don't have to seal it up from the inside. You just pull it in, um, pull pull it from the outside, and you'll seal it, and it'll be locked in place from the inside. And then what you do is pretty much reverse the process. How we pulled it out, we just we're gonna pull it through here, and then. And get it in here. There's a little gap right here, as you can see. Well, let me see if I'm recording that. Push the wire through. Hold on. Uh, see this um right there. Just push the wire through upwards. Then when you're done, you push it down. So what you see is the wire like this. I don't think you can see it, huh? There you can, like that, see? So, when we're done with this, we get our other piece. Brand new piece right here. See the, it has two little push, um, push, pushing levers. I guess it's, um, Supposed to be right here, right now, right there, All right here. So there's one, two. Yeah, Oscar, let me have some of that spray can, that loop. I want to loop down this line in here. Spray it in here. So to give it a little bit more. Uh, Give it some lubrication down the line so when I'm using it, it won't um, dry up. It won't seize up on you. It won't seize up on me. But you can feel the difference between the new one and the old ones. The, the, the old one has tension and the new one just, you put it through here.
just slides in and out. This is just an option if you want to do this. You don't really have to, but I don't want to get locked out of my hood again. So I'm going to do whatever it takes to, to prevent that from happening. Okay, so... <clears throat> So let me um, pause this video and then when, once I connect this, uh, um, I'm going to show you how to connect the, the other the other end to to the the main the the, the driver side latch that the latch that connects to the passenger side latch. So I'll do that right now. So this is how you connect the other piece to this piece right here. I'm going to try to record it or try to show it. Yeah, let's go pull this cord from me over here. Just hold this cord up. Push it towards me. Yeah, okay. Okay, uh, pull it towards you. Okay, so I guess oh. it's easier when you have somebody helping you. Now pull it all the way towards you. Now we're gonna lock that this plastic in the place. Hold on. Where's locking? Let me see. Oh, it's kind of hard over here. Okay, let me see. Never very really, really locked them right there. So you lock that plastic piece right here. And then what happens? It's running through here, uh, through on top of the headlight assembly. And it goes through here, goes through here, and it's there. So the trick to this, there's three pieces. The third, the third piece, I didn't have to replace because it's still good. I replace one piece and two piece. The piece that goes in the car and the, and the piece that goes across right here. So that's how you you change out the, I guess the cable hood latch cord or whatever you want to call it uh, on these two pieces. Those are the two main ones that I believe that you would have to maintain and pretty much all of them. So that's how you change it out. So hopefully this video helps and um, I'll be up uploading more videos. Okay.